Yellowstone's Ano warning that its eruption would bring the world to its knees. An eruption at Yellowstone would bring the world to its knees and cause what is known as a nuclear winter, a volcanologist has warned. Super volcanoes are one of the most terrifying natural creations Earth has to offer. The Volcano Explosivity Index VEI, has the power and eruption that is one step further than its neighboring volcanoes in general. This means that, at one point in history, more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of material was blown from its cap. Perhaps the world's most famous supervolcano is the Yellowstone Caldera, a vast fissure in Wyoming, USA, that lies beneath a national park called Wide. Millions of people visit Yellowstone every year, a volcanologist told Express.co.uk the level of damage that would occur if an eruption occurred, and the extent of its impact on the world. Supervolcano eruptions depend on their location and geological makeup. Ranged from avalanches of hot rock and gas to extreme changes in the global climate. The latter was caused by an eruption at Yellowstone, which according to Professor Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London UCL, would have had a major impact, if not the entire world. The area around the super-eruption location will be completely destroyed. Impact. It's a different story. Clouds of fine volcanic ash will rise into the stratosphere and block sunlight perhaps for several years. More important is the release of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide, which forms opaque sulfuric acid droplets and reduces the amount of sunlight but longer than ash. Eruption of global food supplies. Depending on where the eruption occurs, the impact will be large. What scientists call nuclear winter will occur when ash and eruption debris spread across the globe and blanket the sky, blocking most of the sunlight. This will reduce temperatures globally and causing crop failures, health implications, and reduced energy production. Milburn continued, If this happens in Yellowstone, this will likely burden the global economy because the world's leading economies will suffer. Many economic impacts will occur which will then disrupt trade, food supplies, general activities in around the world and in turn can lead to other destabilizing impacts. Early ...lead to the extinction of humanity, Professor Kilburn said many volcanoes and supervolcanoes were not actively monitored to detect such movements. It is a myth that the world is watching the monitors correctly. The relevant measurements to understand if a large-scale eruption is about to occur. For now, though, things look promising when it comes to the super event at Yellowstone. The United States Geological Survey USGS, said, Yellowstone is not too late to erupt, and added in a statement on its website, Volcanoes do not work in a predictable way and their eruptions do not follow a predictable schedule. The volcano is too late to erupt. In terms of big explosions, Yellowstone has experienced three eruptions at 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years ago. This means an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. Therefore, there are still about 100,000 years to go, but this is based on an average of only two time intervals between eruptions, and this is meaningless.